For months, Voyager 1, the farthest spacecraft humanity has ever launched, a machine older than the Internet itself, had gone completely silent. 15 billion miles from Earth. No signal. No data. Nothing. It was as if the universe itself had swallowed our oldest explorer. Many believed the mission was finally over. That the little probe, powered by fading plutonium and built with 1970s circuitry, had taken its last breath in the endless dark. And then, something extraordinary happened. A signal returned. But it wasn't a normal status update. It wasn't a reboot message or a routine ping. What Voyager 1 sent back didn't just surprise scientists. It shook the foundation of everything we thought we knew about interstellar space. Because what it found out there, wasn't emptiness. It was structure. It was motion. It was alive. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause back in 2012, the invisible boundary where the sun's influence ends, it officially became the first human-made object to leave the solar bubble. Most experts assumed it would enter silence, floating forever through a cold, empty vacuum. But space beyond the sun's reach isn't quiet. It's humming. Voyager's plasma wave instrument picked up an eerie, low-frequency vibration, a constant tone echoing across interstellar space. It wasn't random static. It pulsed, steady and rhythmic, like the slow heartbeat of the galaxy itself. Alongside this strange hum, Voyager detected sudden spikes in density, bursts of charged particles and pressure waves likely born from ancient supernova explosions. It was as though the probe had sailed into a sea of memory, each ripple a remnant of some long-dead star still echoing through space. Interstellar space, it turns out, isn't a void at all. It's a storm. A vast ocean of invisible energy, magnetic waves, and cosmic debris, and Voyager is humanity's tiny ship adrift in it. Then, something even stranger appeared in the data. Voyager's magnetometer picked up a sudden twist in the galactic magnetic field, a violent misalignment, as if two unseen forces were grinding against each other. This wasn't chaos. It had order, structure, a pattern. Some scientists now believe Voyager is tracing what could be the magnetic framework of the Milky Way, gigantic filaments of energy shaping the flow of matter, radiation, and even cosmic rays. These magnetic rivers might determine where stars form and where space stays empty. At one point, Voyager even crossed a boundary where radiation levels surged, a torrent of high-energy particles likely launched by distant black holes or dying stars. It wasn't a slow change. It was sharp, sudden, like stepping off a cliff into another world. The edge of the sun's influence isn't a gentle fade. It's a wall, and beyond it, the rules of space itself seem to shift. In late 2023, Voyager's signal began to falter. The data turned to gibberish. Many feared the mission was finally lost. But the engineers at NASA refused to give up. After months of decoding and testing, they discovered the cause, a tiny memory chip corrupted by a cosmic ray, the very phenomenon Voyager was built to study. And from 15 billion miles away, they did the impossible. Using commands that took nearly a full day to reach the spacecraft, they rerouted its software into backup systems older than most of the people working on it. It was like performing brain surgery through time, using technology from half a century ago. And it worked. In April 2024, Voyager came back online. One by one, its instruments reawakened, plasma sensors, magnetometers, cosmic ray detectors, and with each revival came new discoveries, new mysteries. Voyager wasn't just revived. It was reborn. Now, the data it sends back is helping scientists create the first ever three-dimensional map of interstellar space. 
Not a map of stars or planets, but of radiation zones, magnetic boundaries, and hidden clouds of plasma that no telescope can see. Voyager has already passed through multiple interstellar clouds, each with unique temperatures, densities, and magnetic alignments. It's like crossing invisible continents, each shaped by the ghosts of long-dead suns. These findings may one day guide future explorers through safe corridors of space, regions naturally shielded from deadly cosmic rays. But beyond navigation, Voyager's discoveries point to something deeper, the way the galaxy itself breathes, flows, and evolves. We used to think the void between stars was static, a calm emptiness. But Voyager's instruments reveal something far more dynamic. There are currents, eddies, and storms made of energy, plasma, and magnetism. This is what scientists now call interstellar weather. Voyager records sudden shifts in temperature, density, and electrical activity, like flying through invisible fog banks, each with its own climate. These aren't random fluctuations. They're structured layers, shaped by the remnants of ancient supernovas and stellar winds. In human terms, it's like discovering ocean waves where we thought there was desert. And now, Voyager may be charting the edges of the local bubble, a massive, hollow cavity spanning hundreds of light years, thought to be carved by a chain of supernova explosions millions of years ago. Its magnetic readings twist and warp, hinting that it's brushing against the bubble's distorted edges, the scars of those ancient blasts. Every pulse, Every frequency Voyager hears could be the echo of that cosmic violence still reverberating through space. The most haunting revelation of all? Silence doesn't exist out there. Voyager can hear the galaxy. Its plasma sensors constantly pick up faint, rhythmic tones, a background resonance that never stops. No telescope can see it. No radio antenna on Earth can isolate it. But Voyager is immersed in it, moving through the galaxy's hidden music, a sound that might be the natural vibration of the Milky Way itself. Some call it the galactic hum. Others think it's simply the motion of charged particles. But a few wonder if it's something else entirely. A kind of resonance we don't yet understand. Whatever it is, Voyager isn't just detecting it. It's inside it. Part of the song now. Voyager's new data is redrawing how we see the universe. Space is no longer a flat emptiness, it's a living landscape sculpted by invisible forces. Every spike of radiation, every shift in magnetism, every burst of plasma, these are landmarks in a terrain we're only beginning to chart. Voyager is, in essence, creating the first topography of the galaxy's skeleton, a map of energy and structure on a scale no human has ever imagined. These invisible mountains and valleys could guide future probes or reveal where stars are born. For the first time, we're beginning to see the galaxy not as a backdrop, but as an ecosystem. Voyager 1 was never built to find life. It was built to explore, quietly, patiently, fearlessly. A small golden messenger carrying the sounds and images of our world, launched into the unknown. And yet, in its final act, it may have given us something even more profound. Proof that space itself isn't silent, empty, or dead. It's dynamic. Layered. Alive. Our solar system is just a fragile bubble adrift in a vast, storming sea, and beyond it lies a reality more powerful, more complex, and more awe-inspiring than any fiction ever written. Every whisper Voyager hears, every filament it maps, brings us closer to understanding the galaxy not as something distant, but as something we're part of. Because maybe the real discovery isn't out there in the dark. Maybe it's the realization that our need to explore, to understand, to listen, that is what makes us human. So when you look up at the stars tonight, remember this. 15 billion miles away, a tiny spacecraft still drifts through the deep. Still listening. Still sending whispers home.
And somewhere in that silence, the 